What is up guys? This is Kios Richie uh, with a tutorial. Um, I'm gonna talk about dynamic text. Uh, I found this out when I was doing my recent edits. It's over here. But um, it's really useful and you can do a lot of things with it. It's really all about your imagination. But um, let's start by making a composition. Doesn't matter what preset you use. Um, let's create a background, make it black. Then create a text and just leave it there. Don't do anything with it. You can name it if you want, but you don't have to. Then just for the sake of um, the tutorial, I'm going to show you um, what I mean with dynamic text with optical flares, but you can use also a lot of other stuff, a lot of other variables. But um, let's create a an, an, an adjustment layer. Then drag the optical flares on the adjustment layer. And uh, optical flares has um, a position on an X, Y axis. And you can use that position to, um, like you, you can project, look, you can use the coordinates of the position and put it in a text layer. Uh, so all you have to do is go to the drop down menu of the text, la <coughs> text layer, then um, uh, click on text, alt click on a stopwatch, uh, which has, which has, uh, which says source text. Then here you type X, uh, semicolon X plus, then go to the adjustment layer and just ignore this error message. Uh, go over here, just click here. Don't, don't paste everything. Just click over here. Then, um, Use your pick whip and drag it over to the x value of the x of the position. And if you now just click somewhere else, you'll get nothing because I did something wrong. Oh yeah, here at the optical flares also set this render mode to over original. All right, so now as you can see, I have the x value of the position of this uh, optical flare. And we can also use the Y value, just duplicate this and do the same thing only for the Y uh, value. Just set this to Y and um, this to 1 because that's the second variable in the array. And now you have both uh, coordinates and now you can just uh, move this over like below it and then move them over. And you can use this in a in a hut or something else. Just use your imagination. Uh, let's put it over here. And now, if you move the position of the optical flares, the text uh, also changes. And that's what I mean with dynamic. You can also use other stuff, not not uh, necessarily position or I don't know. You can also use color or. Uh, I think you can also use the checkboxes. And if you animate this, if you just uh, keyframe this, so uh, push the stopwatch button, then go over for five seconds and click over here. And now you see the, the text. Wait, I did something wrong. Yeah. I need to change this value. All right. So now you can see the text also changes, but you have a lot of decimals over here. If I move this over, um, if you do not want like, I don't know, like 10 decimals, you can use this, um, this function. So after, after a certain number, you can type this point to fixed and uh, you need to use the, so only uh, capital F, no, no capital T. To fix, then parentheses uh, one if you want one decimal. So let's do two, and then uh, I don't know what this symbol is called. Think semicolon, and yeah, here we go. Two decimals, and do the same thing for the other one. So just copy, uh, press U to get all the um, edited uh, variables, and then paste. Oh, something wrong. I oh, yeah, forgot the point. Point. Alright, so um, this is what you can do. And uh, 
you can do this with also uh, also with a lot of other stuff i can show you i didn't um i didn't test this but you can also use color i'm pretty sure so if i remove this and go to the adjustment layer uh so this i drag to the color let's see what it says uh divide by zero all right so I, I guess you need to do something else for color but i'm pretty sure you can use all the variables but yeah this was it uh this is how you do dynamic text and you can also use random numbers and other stuff just go over here this has a lot of um functions that you can use random numbers vector math uh interpolation just to check it out and yeah this was a tutorial hope you enjoyed and uh, learned something and i'll see you guys next time peace